Hello everyone and greetings for the day. Welcome back to another tutorial on ISTQB Advanced Test Analyst. We are in Chapter 3 and before we proceed to the today's tutorial, I would like to highlight there is a change in the syllabus uh, which the test analyst has recently modified into that is 2019 but it is not yet into effect. Uh, it might be in roles uh, very soon. So uh, I'm just upgrading this tutorial to 2019. So far, whatever you have covered, those topics exist. There are some minor changes which I'll be highlighting to you and also covering right today onwards in this tutorial onwards, uh, the new syllabus 2019. So the very first change you would see, there were seven chapters earlier. And the one which is removed is defect management because most of the things have been already discussed in the foundation. So that was not required here. So defect management has been eliminated from 2019 of uh, ISTQP Advanced Test Analyst. The next topic uh, we are talking still about specification based techniques and we are moving to the next uh, technique which is called as classification tree. Now let's understand this is a new technique. We do not have anything related to this in the foundation. So well, what exactly classification tree is all about? It's, it's basically a graphical representation which I would quickly like to show you here. So generally it uh, takes a certain scenario or what are the possible parameters after that. So say for example, there's an outlook, whether it's going to be sunny, overcast, and then you have humidity, windy, in humidity again, no, yes, high, normal, windy, yes, no, or true, false. Or probably you can also have further categories like uh, less than 50 kilometers per hour, 50 to 100, 100 on above. So generally, classification tree represents a particular scenario into a diagram form, which allows you to find out various classes and different classification of each of the parameters defined. So let's come back to our points, what we are talking about to understand in more detail. Classification tree supports certain black box test techniques by enabling a graphical representation of the data space to be created, which applies to the test object. The data is origins, uh, organized into classification and classes as follows. So we are going to understand here what exactly the classification stands for and what are the different classes which we're talking about. So it also mentions that some of the techniques is supported by classification tree from black box. Those are like, you know, your equivalence partition, boundary value analysis could be very well derived. The data can be derived from here. So let's understand more about classification here. These represent parameters within the data space for the test object. These can be input parameters or like test data which can further contain environment states and precondition, as well as the output parameters also. So for example, if an application can be configured many different ways, the classification might include client, browser, language, operating system, or any kind of drivers which are required to do that. So probably these would be the classifications. Now under each classification, there could be possible classes like client, what type of client is it server based or, uh, you know, additional cloud based or something browser, which browser are you using language and so on. So the second one is what we are talking about is classes where it, each classification can have any number of classes and subclasses describing the occurrence of the parameter that how many occurrences are possible. So now one classification being picked up can be used as like, for example, the uh, language has several other classes like English, French, Spanish, and many other languages. So all we do entirely about a classification tree is in a scenario, you identify various classifications and for each classification, if there is a possibility of different classes, you try to demonstrate that in the diagram and based on that, you identify your test data and also the outputs based on the functionality because it's a specification based technique. So, at the end, classification tree allows the test analyst to enter combinations as they see fit. These include, uh, for example, pairwise combination, three-wise combination, single-wise, or what, there are a lot many more, uh, many more things which you would see in the upcoming tutorial. So the next tutorial will be about pairwise technique. So uh, we'll be looking more into that. So don't worry about that right now. So that's all from this tutorial team. Thank you for being uh, watching this video. Uh, should you have any query, feel free to comment below. Till then, keep understanding, keep exploring, and keep learning the context about the same. Thanks for watching the video team. Happy learning.